man, we've been getting so many solid leads on the new Sly Cooper game, there's no way we could be disappointed. Oh. Oh no. What's up guys, King Guy here and back with a video that uh is not gonna end with a conclusion. This is a video where I don't try to prove anything or link together a speculative theory. This is a video that is gonna show you all the evidence that I have about this new Sly Cooper title. The positive, the negative, the possible conclusions, and then leave it up to you to decide. Before we begin, let me quickly summarize what we know or at least what we thought we knew about this upcoming Sly Cooper title. The general consensus was that it was going to be developed by Pixel Opus in the Unreal Engine and to be made alongside a new animated series to pair up with the game. It would be announced in the second part of 2022 and that it was a brand new title, not a remaster like Crash Bandicoot or the Spyro trilogies. And in my previous videos, we found evidence to seemingly support these statements, like job listings that Pixel Opus matching what the leakers were saying. The two main leakers have been Nick Baker and Account NGT, two separate leakers with separate sources that have been seemingly confirming the same information. To give you an idea, Nick Baker specifically has shown time and time again that he does indeed have pretty good sources, even leaking in-game gameplay of The Last of Us Part 1 remake way ahead of schedule. To do that, you gotta have some pretty good sources. So if we have two people doubling down on Sly Cooper coming, then it must be true, right? Well, let me introduce to you the wrench in the gears. Sucker Punch had come along and decided to make something clear to many of us. This is their statement. As our games continue to grow in scale and complexity, they require the full attention of our studio. With our focus on our current project, we have no plans to revisit Infamous or Sly Cooper right now. And no other studio is currently working on projects related to those franchises either. These characters are very special and near and dear to our hearts, so while we'd never say never to reopening those doors down the road, for now there are no infamous or Sly Cooper games in development. Ow, that hurts. Sucker Punch coming out and saying this definitely pumps the brakes. This is a comment that's pretty blanketing. It basically comes along and shoots every theory out of the sky, right? Well, typically yes, but Nick Baker still states that his source says it's still coming and they were just as shocked as us when they heard the news. And GT's source said essentially the same thing. So not only do we have Sucker Punch saying it's not happening across the board, but pretty reliable sources are doubling down on it. On top of that, that PlayStation Showcase opening trailer has been delivering on literally every single Easter egg. Just about every single intellectual property that was shown off has had some form of a game announcement in the past year, from Final Fantasy VII Remake, Pac-Man, and even Tekken. Sly Cooper is seemingly the last IP that was shown off that hasn't had any sort of a reveal, and yet it's not getting a game? Why would they put logos of all of these games into a trailer of games coming soon or at least being announced within the year and then just throw Sly Cooper in there for fun? So now what? Where do we stand with Sly Cooper? Some people have been suggesting multiple different situations, but in my mind, there's a grand total of about four different possibilities. The two surface level possibilities that people have been discussing is one, Sucker Punch is lying to try and cover the trail of leaks or two, Sucker Punch is telling the truth. Now, Sucker Punch telling the truth doesn't need further explanation. It's the truth. That's it. Done. The other option, Sucker Punch is lying, is... Eh, I don't think it's that either. Lying like that is not great in today's day and age as a community manager for any company. While, yes, there is evidence of PlayStation lying in the past to cover up for some games like Twisted Metal's initial comeback, it's not something that is taken well and is rarely done. But I will be honest, I don't think either of those options are correct. I think it's a bit more convoluted and confusing than that. 
Reliable leakers saying it's coming and every other title mentioned in the showcase getting revealed through the year except for Sly Cooper, I genuinely believe there's too much smoke to say nothing is happening. So I took a step back and thought, in this situation, is there a possibility that the Easter eggs, the leakers, and Sucker Punch are correct? And I thought of two other situations that would explain how they all could be right. Now, if you don't know, typically sister studios actually don't share information with each other through official networks if the studio is not involved in the project. For example, if Naughty Dog was working on a new Uncharted, Sony Santa Monica, the developers of God of War, wouldn't know about it officially until either right before it's revealed or right when it's revealed. However, Bluepoint would know about God of War because they actually helped with God of War Ragnarok. Basically, it's if you don't need to know, you don't know. Now notice, I said through official networks, as in Sony coming down and telling the other studios and employees what the others are working on. Now transfers do happen, so an employee who worked at Naughty Dog could switch to Sony Santa Monica and tell people about the projects that Naughty Dog was working on around lunchtime. But again, that would not be through an official network. So what I'm trying to say is that it's possible Sony just up and bypassed Sucker Punch and handed the IP to someone else, like Pixel Opus or anyone. And Sucker Punch assumed that Sony would confer with them and that they wouldn't do that and would connect Sucker Punch with the current development team to help guide them and show them the way of how they developed Sly Cooper. Now, if I was Sucker Punch, I would assume that Sony would communicate with me before handing the IP off to someone else. But stranger things have happened. I mean, take a look. They replaced the main voice of Sly for the canceled Sly Cooper movie, which was, you know, weird. But in that case, Sucker Punch not knowing about a new Sly game being in development with a broad stroke assumption that Sony would let them know would make it possible for both parties to be technically correct. While this theory stands and seems a lot more solid than the other two initial theories, it would have to require either gross negligent assumptions on Sucker Punch's part or Sony lying to Sucker Punch themselves. But there is also a second possibility, which I actually think is possibly more likely Again, looking at it with a fresh pair of eyes, how could the leakers be right, the Sony Showcase Easter Egg be right, and Sucker Punch be right? Well, that's if the game was cancelled. Let me explain. When the Easter Egg showed up in the trailer, at that point in time there might have been a Sly Cooper game in development. On top of that, when the leakers got their information, they also would report that a Sly Cooper game was in development. Now, speculation for Sly Cooper has been going on for a while, as in since August 2021. Then, a month later, the showcase comes along and shows off the Sly Cooper logo, further pushing the evidence of its existence. The timing seems quite tight and actually pretty correct, but in July 2022, just about a year later, from when the leaks started, from Nick Baker specifically, Sucker Punch finally decides to comment on the Sly Cooper rumors, stating that there is no Sly Cooper game in development. Why would you essentially wait one year to finally make a comment on Sly Cooper when the rumors started a year ago and were on fire? In my opinion, it's possible that there was a Sly Cooper game in development, but was canceled. Sucker Punch knew this and decided to make a post to say that there are currently no games in development because at that point there technically would not have been a game in development anymore. It would bring everyone's expectations down while also not revealing that there was a game in development creating mass anger. It's possible that this was a PR way to settle everyone down without inciting too much anger towards the actual studios. Again, my opinion is currently that there was too much smoke to suggest that there is or was no fire to begin with. Even if we set aside every single leaker's opinion, whether it be Nick Baker, NGT, whoever that you bring up, set all of them aside, every single game in that PlayStation 2021 showcase opening has gotten some form of a reveal this year including, yes, 
Wumpa League, which we are likely going to be seeing at the December Game Awards this year. The only game that has not had a reveal yet was Sly Cooper. That in itself is a huge hint to me that there was at the bare minimum a project in development, at least. The additional leaks from other sources are just a bonus. The question that I now face is that, is it still in development? And that is what I'm struggling with. I genuinely don't know. We haven't had a PlayStation showcase yet as of recording this video, but in my opinion, if we don't see anything this year, it might be a while before we see Sly Cooper come back because this is his 20th anniversary year. And if they at least don't do a logo reveal for a game that they do have in development, then I don't think that we're going to be seeing the raccoon for a while. But what do you guys think? Do you think Sly Cooper is still in development? Comment below and let me know. And if anything Sly Cooper related is announced, I will report on it. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and our live stream. Bye bye.